get them, man. Like hips, Phil. Hey there, hi there, ho there, everybody, and welcome to the Dork Table. That was a little dork bit of alley oop, 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 oop. I like alley oop. <laughs> and may, may I say, you keep the music to a very, very good dork standard, Miss Mary. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say every week you find something dorkier than the week before. Well, that is my job, to find dorky stuff. But so. <laughs> not next week. Next week you'll be away on, I'll be on secret yeah. Grammy Mary business. Yeah, and I know. I know. It'll be so secret that I'll probably tell you about it the next Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. Well, just take some blue dye for the kids, because well, they're going to want to do it when they see you. Oh, Lord, yeah. Well, and actually, the grandson whose birthday is next weekend, he will mm. want to do yeah. that. Because oh. he likes to spike his hair up, and uh, and he would love to do the blue tips <laughs> on his hair, just because he's just crazy. Yes. And my granddaughter would do it as well. But Wow. Yeah, so... Well, the apple don't fall far from the tree, do it there, lady. No, it don't. No, it don't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, where are we again? Why are we we're here? at the dork table, and it's a Saturday, and we're having a good old time. And, yeah, Grimner, he's a hipster, hipsville man. <laughs> oh, one of those. Yeah. I, hey, moves. Well, you're going to yeah. say hi to people. Well, I won't read the chat. You know, because <laughs> when I read the chat, I'm not listening to you, Miss Mary. I'm really? reading the chat. Gee, Just I do like that you. as well. <laughs> You know, it, it took me six months to figure out that, well, the reason you didn't know what I was talking about is you were reading the fucking chat. <laughs> that's, that's why we're always talking about two different goddamn things is you're reading chat. Well, besides the fact that, <laughs> that we just talk about two different things and somehow or another we wind up <laughs> talking about the same thing in the long run. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was a slow six months, but I finally figured it out. By God, you're a slow country. learner. That's okay. Right. <laughs> hey there to everybody over there in the corner pocket. I see Tin 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 is getting ready to go to bed. So night night, hun. I hope you rest well. Um, over on that Freedoms Network, Grimmy shared us over there. Thank you ever so much, Grimner, for doing that. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure who all else is over here on that F and side. Ah, the lovely Mary B and Mental Pancakes. Cakes. Cakes. Cakes is you over got, here. Um, cakes. Oh, wow. Yeah. We haven't got to these yet, and we're already cruising. This is cool. I know. And uh, Barman shared us over on Twitter. Barman. Thank you ever so much, Barman. That's just totally awesome. It's like totally we're, dorkular and all, you know? We're. We're all a Twitter. <laughs> Flash Dork is a great monotasker. <laughs> yep. Whatever that is, that's what I do. Moosey, I have two granddaughters and two grandsons. I... And he will be... Do, 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 do. Let me do the math. Okay, uh -oh. 12. He'll be 11. He'll be wow. 11. The one who's uh -oh. having the birthday. So... Okay, uh, let's see, where else am I at? Barman. Um, yeah, barman, barman, barman. Over on Fakey Book, I saw Moosey liked the post where I said that we was going to be on the dork table, and we are on the dork table. We all just kind of sit on the dork table, and we have to sit in strategic areas or the damn thing will tip, and sometimes that's quite fun, but yeah, it tends to leave a wow. mark. <laughs> Shit. I thought it was my feet. Okay. I feel better now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, Saturday pancakes fell out. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I need my cakes. Okay, I had a fried egg sandwich this morning, so I guess I'll survive. But not mentally. Okay, mentally, that's always a up in the air okay over here in the rlm which is where you need to be if you want to give us static RLM. i'm not i know i'm not going to announce all the different places that we are because if you're not <laughs> listening then you know how in the hell is it going to help you any to know where we're at <laughs> yeah and if you're not listening then you don't want to you got something else to do 
Yeah, yeah. There you have it. Yep. Yeah, Moose Dork, uh, I have mm-hmm. one grandson that is very scientifically minded. Oh. He's one of those that he'll sit down with a piece of paper and <laughs> try and figure out (laughs) how many different mathematical equations he needs to come up with like the number 69 or the number 72 or whatever he'll just come up with a number and then start working out all these different mathematical equations to get there so he's very very analytical very scientific minded and he likes space and he likes dinosaurs and all that fun stuff and then my other grandson is just a wild man and I love him dearly he is such a sweetheart He's actually, and I know, don't don't take this wrong or nothing. Don't take it like it's I'm out there looking for. But he's the first person that said, Grammy, you're beautiful. And it was like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> and yes, she is on Skype. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, you know, he's just, okay. he's he's a ladies' man. He's one of those that even when he was 18 months old, he had... The ladies that, at the that, checkout counter that uh, that's yeah. the long extended dork moment. Mary. Yeah, that is it. That is a very long extended dork moment. But he's he's my little ladies man, wow. and then and then I have my wild women granddaughters that <laughs> I'm teaching them well. In any case, back to saying hi, because yeah, I got distracted, didn't I? A little bit. Just distracted. a wee bit. I well, thought you were doing your impression of me. Oh, I was. I was monotasking. <laughs> I wow. was reading the chat and responding. Okay. I'm famous. Um, let's see. Moving back. Let's see. A lot of people. Yeah, Grimmy, they do. And you know what? You know how you say that in Chinese? Two can chew. <laughs> okay, moving along. <laughs> For those of you that are not in the chat, you're not going to get that joke because you can't see what Grim said. So, um, Moosey's on Skype. Woo-woo! Okay. Right here in the, <laughs> in the RLM chat. Do I need to get shit or get off the pot? Uh, hi, I Asmo. Wait a minute. <laughs> to what? Get off. Can't you just say hi to all the people? Hi, all the people. Hi, Asmo. It, Should I go really, always, really fast? <laughs> <laughs> is it always going to be this difficult? Yes, it wow, does. You're, you're really... You know, they're... There's protocols, Mary. I am I female. No Hear me be difficult. <laughs> ah, okay. That'll okay. work. Here we go. Are you ready? Drum roll. No. Asmo, no. Barman, Betsy, oh. Grim Nerd, Moose Dork, Kate, Chalsa Denis, hey. Double Dose and a Chloe, hey. Flash, Flash Dash hey, Dork. You. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Damn it, quit it. Flash Dash Dork and Flash Dork. Grimm's Dork. I be Don C. I be Don C. Work. Java, 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 Dork. Two. Bunion. M- M- P. Bunion. Trust no one. Phantom. Dakota. Dork B. Flash somebody free and slaved. Jehovah One. Java. Juana Taco. <laughs> Kozu. Mm, oh, mm, vamp. Oh, we have a mm, vamp. Va, 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 voom. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, that's not gender specific, though. Don't get too excited. It could be a girl. That's what I mean. Mm, vamp. She'd be a vampular. Or maybe vampire. Uh, I don't uh-huh. know. Okay. Uh-huh. Ninson Dubois. Yeah. Ah, the mouth, yes. the yeah. mouth exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. Uh-uh. <laughs> North Force Rain Sock <laughs> Puppet. <laughs> yeah, Sock Puppet's the one that shared me over in the, or not just me, but also Flash a Rooney Head, as in the dork yeah. table. Over in the corner right. pocket. Thank you, Sock. Also, Sock. S- Stats Bob, it. Tip Bob, Bob. and Bob. to round out the crew, somebody else popped in because my my thing uh, went down. Who else ooh. popped in? I, uh, 
right on C. And to round out the crew, the I one, the only, the Vil underscore. Uh, Walter's moniker is Solvenor, free enslaved. Yeah, at UCY. At UCY.TV. And yeah. did he, okay, now I missed, I missed some of it because I was still in training yesterday. And, you know, you guys would be so proud of us because they did not have to break out the whip or chairs once all last week while they were training. 11, 11. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> in any case so why why did why did walter step away from the radio uh well his version of it was that he felt the influence of the internet was con was conditioning him in a way he didn't like so he stepped away from it oh and that yeah, is yeah, as it, it should be well yeah because hell if it was controlling me i wouldn't play with it yeah. I mean, if I was aware it was controlling me, it probably is somehow on some level of it's doing whatever it's doing in some electronic way. Yeah. And I'm just a puppet here doing my little thing with Miss Mary on Saturday afternoons, evening slash mornings. Ah. Well, you don't know. I mean, shit, it's all an illusion anyway. But, hey, we don't want to get into those, you know, adult topics on the radio. People get scared quickly. Adult topics or adult? You know, it's which vowel are you using? A U or an O? Yes. Okay. That works for me. Well, I I don't know which vowel matters the most to you. What, what's in ah. it for me to answer that question? Yeah, maybe I'm going to start charging you for advice. Oh, charging me to give you yeah. advice. No, wow. No, no, no. That would be crazy. No, I'm going to charge you, and then I'm going to give you the advice that will make your life wonderful. Ah, Saturday pancakes made it back. Woo woo! I told you you'd be back. We yeah. have cakes. Well, yeah, but the internet has been quite the uh, interesting little ride lately. Let's just say that. And where we're at, we've got a good, strong connection, so... We're all right, but we see the other folks' connections are a little bit, what do you call it, weaker? Well, like you're out in the boonies, you know? Oh, tin can, kite that string, sort of and thing. duct tape, yeah. Yeah, they, well, they supply you with less power because of where you're at. Yeah, you know, and they, they still charge me the same because it's like, yeah. hey, you chose yeah. to live out there in the boonies away from all of Sucker. the hubbub and crazy bullshit. And so now you have to pay for it in more ways than one. I, but isn't life, isn't boring life, I like it better. I thought I wouldn't when I started. I went, oh, man, I'm going to be so bored. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. Yeah. It turned out I, I'm not bored at all. You know what it is? What? I'm lazy. <laughs> 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 I finally got a chance to, yeah, I finally got a chance after all these years of running around to sit on my dead ass. Uh, and you know what? Hey, what? there's something to be said for this lazy shit. I, I think other people should enjoy lazy. Other people and should try it? Yeah. They should enjoy, yeah. And if they enjoy it, then there you go. There's your answer. That's well, what you need. You know, it is kind of nice because my weekends, if I don't, you know, if I don't mm. really have something, especially in the summertime, my weekends are usually crazy. But um, yeah. if I don't have something specific that I want to do, I take mm -hmm. a day out of my weekend and I just be a slug. And or at least, you know, <laughs> that is that is my intent for the day is to just be a slug. <laughs> now, it doesn't mean yeah. that I don't do anything. It just means that I don't hold myself to a certain standard of you have to get this accomplished today. And, you know, it's really funny. Those days where I decide I'm just going to be a slug, I tend to yeah. putter around and get all kinds of shit done because uh, I decided little, to be a slug. Mm, little menial things, right? Mm-hmm. That you weren't planning to, yeah. 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 I got a terrible memory from being in school when I was like 10 years old. 
because uh-huh. I was always done with my test the first I was always the first kid finished blah 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 well one particular day I was done really really fast and I had a lot like 10 or 15 minutes left before the time was up so I figured I'd clean out my desk and organize it because it had gotten a little bit messy mm-hmm. so as the kids were finishing up their their tests they started cleaning out their desks and the, at the end of it the teacher made a big uh, problem out of it pointing at me see just because he does something you guys shouldn't just follow him <laughs> yeah but see that's one of those things where you were an unintentional leader yeah yeah but see they they nip that in the bud as fast as possible they well, just want followers they do not want anybody to think a thought alone you have to be holding hands with two other people to have a thought. <laughs> yeah, but what is so wrong with someone taking the initiative to clean up their area, you know, and mm. then to have others go, oh, hey, he's cleaning up his area. Maybe I could do that, too. What is so wrong with, oh, I know, never mind, I just realized the answer to that. It's taking initiative. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't come from authority, so therefore yeah. it doesn't have a value. You we're not it's told. Bad. Oh, yeah. We're whipped into shape. At its, man, as soon as they teach us to count, then they teach us all this other crap that's a bunch of nonsense, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Lucy, the, you know what? Of, Saturdays are uh, my slacker day, too. You know, or, Saturday? Yes. Well, she said usually on Saturdays is the day that she likes to do her veg and thing. And so, uh-huh. you know, I get up in the mornings early because the freaking dogs <laughs> need to go to the bathroom. And I would prefer they do that outside. <laughs> so I let them out. Wow. And then yeah, I start idea. puttering around. And usually that's also when I do my, you know, taking the trash to the dumpster or all of that other fun stuff because the sun isn't quite up yet. And so I can go outside in my jammers and uh, I don't have to worry about the neighbors seeing me because all of their lights are still off yet. And I don't, nobody's driving wow. down the road. So so I can go do the whole wander around in my jammers thing and go, yeah, I'm wandering around outside in my jammers. Yeah, I am. This am I- is a public announcement for your safety and security from the dork table. Do not drive by Grammys before the sun is up because you <laughs> will see her wandering around outside in her jammers. <laughs> wow. Cool. With the blue hair flowing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, now you're multicolored. You're like a... Yeah, a couple of more years, we'll get you some piercings. and. Oh, I've got two piercings mohawk. in each ear. No, we weren't talking about you. <laughs> no, I ain't piercing we'll talk, anywhere we'll, else. We'll talk later. Oh, but you haven't read the rules yet. Rules? You, we don't need no stinking week. rules. Well, you know what? I'm not too happy with the way things are going, and I think maybe that's what's wrong. There's no rules. <laughs> ah, well, I don't see I, who are these people that do this shit that I, you read about people doing. I never see any of it, but I sure read about it. Oh, I know. know. But where where does it happen at? Somewhere out there over yonder in the hinterlands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wait a minute. That's that's a familiar. <laughs> that's a familiar familiar voice i wonder who that reminds me of. <laughs> no, she doesn't talk that way wow have we gotten this all right i get it what what i have no idea i'm trying to follow this but it's not taking me anywhere <laughs> thank you moosey i love it too that lisa b calls it my mermaid hair she just absolutely oh, loves your it. hair yeah, yeah. well I guess it could, you know, it could have ended up worse than whatever it was that you wanted to do. Well, I just wanted to play. Well, then you did. You've accomplished that. Yep. Yep. Well, there you go. You made the movie. You got the t-shirts on the market. The YouTube link is coming out in the spring. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> wow. Well, you're going to have a, a line of Grammy Mary clothes. <laughs> You know what's Close really hairdos. funny? You know <laughs> no what's way. really funny is when I was in high school, um, you know, being one of ten children, 
we oh, I, I'm familiar with that. Um, yeah. You know, that we yeah. we didn't have a whole hell of a lot of money to uh, you know just go and buy a shitload of of clothes or what have you. So you know, whenever we did go purchasing clothes, then you know I always found the off the wall stuff that was on the bargain rack that I thought, ooh, mm-hmm. I could do something with this. So I always you know dressed a little. Different. You're breaking up in my headphones. I'm breaking up? A little bit. Uh-oh. Just I hate that, yeah, when that... You speak, you're breaking up a little... Un- well, mm. Mm. I hate to interrupt you when you're on a roll, but there you go. Oh, that's, that's okay. That's what I do. Ah. Well, yeah. oh, in well, any case... No, because our recording is going to have... It's going to have you broken up then, right? I hate when that happens. Or is what I'm hearing different than... Is what I'm hearing different than the rest of the hearing world? I don't know. Are we all hearing? Look, look in the chat. Ask him if you're breaking up on the chat. Am I breaking up really bad? In the there. chat, yeah. There, I just share it so P. Bunyan can see my turquoisey hair. Oh, baby. That, see, there you go. Yep. Okay, and, and I'll do this that? one too so okay. you can see. It's it's just the underneath side, you know. Yeah, have some fun with your hair. Whoop de doo. What the hell? It just uh, it grows, and this is yeah. not a permanent color. So there. Yeah, but I, I'm not a peacock, so I ain't coloring my fucking hair. It's the color uh, it is, whatever that is, I don't care. And you know what's really really funny is no. right after I did this and I shared a picture on on Fakey Book, you know, just kind of a little temporary thing. And then yeah. I refreshed my fakie book page, and here is this picture of someone that got their hair cut to where it looks like <laughs> yeah. a pineapple. I mean, oh. they had the little, yeah, the little, <laughs> oh, yeah. all the little squares cut out, the diamonds cut out of the, yeah, yeah. <clears> and, <throat> and then the at the very out. top, it's green and it's spikied and sprigged. So it's it's just funny. It, it, yes. it was like, oh, You're Lord, perfect. I went blue and someone went pineapple. <laughs> You're boring compared to real wackadoodles. On the wackadoodle scale, on like a one to ten scale, wackadoodle, ten being high, one being not so high, oh. you'd be about a two and a half, maybe a three wackadoodle. Oh, is that all? Yeah. Damn, I'm going to have yeah, to work on well, that. Well, you get points shaved off because of your political affiliations and you're damn, you, you're not, you're a work, you work, you're in the workforce. You are supporting us in the non-workforce. You're welcome. With your work. Well, no, that's the illusion they've given you to believe. Well, yeah. That somehow that if other people around you aren't working... That your work is supporting their not work, and that's not the truth. The truth is the government has produced this shit to do to be done, and it's like a job. People are filling it out, you know. That's what's available to them, so they take it. And it's a beautiful scam. It's the best scam there is because then they get to uh, bitch about the very thing that they instigated from the beginning, and they do that. They bl- blame it. Oh well, we're using your tax dollars. No, they're not. <laughs> There's no such thing as tax dollars, people. It's just a, it's just another story. Yeah, that's just another way to to make you um, live under their thumb. You know, it's a it's a control thing. It's a it's a fear tactic, is what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you it know, works. I got to thinking about that the other day, and I remember when I was in high school hearing about IRS agents pulling pregnant women out of the driver's window of a Volkswagen Beetle, you know, those kind of things. And it's like, my mind, I was trying to picture this shit. (laughs) You know, a pregnant woman getting pulled out of the driver's window. Wow, she must not have been real pregnant. But Wow. What are, okay. But yeah, they, you know, they use all of these very visual, you know, it's you don't ever see the picture, but you get the visual, the descriptive oh, stuff, oh, oh, and okay. so it's like, damn. Whether, so they leave a lot to the imagination. Yeah, yeah. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him piss. Uh, the yeah, and if he does piss in the water, go upstream, <laughs> not down. <laughs> in the wall. 
a while. <laughs> I'll never drink water again. This river's got a bit of a whine wow. to it. <laughs> Wait a minute. That, hey. <laughs> wow. Now I'm going to have to make Cirque boil all my water before I drink it now. <laughs> you wussy minute. woo. Ah, well, it's coffee. I guess it won't matter. <laughs> it's already <laughs> boiled water. But I don't know. Can you imagine that I've been I got hooked on this woman's show on um UCY a couple weeks ago. Jules uh her name is Jules is before yeah. the first cup with Jules. Uh -huh. Anyway. She has this perspective about AI that it's just it, it it's entertaining as hell. And I agree with a lot of what she says. And even she thinks, she, you know, she says her husband calls her crazy. And I can see why people would think it's so crazy to agree with this stuff. But then on the other hand, there's enough people out there doing shit that, wow, who knows what's possible. Yeah. Well, you know, actually anything is possible until you prove it is not. And I'd like to see someone prove a negative. Oh, no, now she's going to go all Walter on me. Okay, help. <laughs> <laughs> the but you had Walter on yesterday, and I'd, I really, I, know. I am going to have yeah. to listen to that, because I, I love Walter, and I'm sad that yeah. he's not on, but I understand. Well, there's really nothing to be upset about. It wasn't like a... a a bad thing is just he wanted to do something else with the time instead of be influenced by the electric world. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. For him, yeah. yeah. I mean, if that's the decision you come with, then, yeah, you follow your nose wherever it goes. That's right. And if you choose, you can, you know, you can hold six people under it from, um, protect them from the rainstorms. Ah. Because you got, you got your big Jewish nose. It's like an umbrella. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Lord, telling you? it's just what? that if you are being, you know, if mm. that big Jewish nose is, is your umbrella, don't look up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little yeah. thunder booger. <laughs> wow. Leave it to you. Well, wow. yeah. <laughs> you so up? And you know what? I got to say this. I uh, <coughs> I was listening to your Wednesday night broadcast this week, uh -huh. and uh, I noticed that you were uh, commenting on the very uh, on the vibrations and the frequencies that I speak of. Yes. So it's nice to know that it crosses your mind when you're uh, off in the in your little in world. Grammy land. Yeah, wherever that may. Be. Yeah, because. You can only think of one thing at a time unless you're really smart, because I can't. I, I'm not really smart. I can only one thing, then I go to the next thing. Yeah. Thing two and thing one. Because autopilot, man, that shit works by itself. You don't even need to. Ah, it's just working. You know? Yeah. Mm. Agreed, Free Enslaved. He does, he has a very cool insight. Free Enslaved said that... Uh, he thinks Walter should do pre-recorded broadcasts, which, you know, I think it would be cool if Walter would, you know, just uh, okay. once in a while, just just do something but where he's not you. connected to everyone else. He doesn't have the chat or any of that fun stuff interfering with him. He just jumps I, on, I, does his me. thing, puts it out there, and then moves along. That would be right, cool. Right. I'm not going to make him do it, but that would be cool. He specifically said, though, he prefers the live. That, oh. See, when we talked about doing the show before we did the show, we had a little conversation mm -hmm. and weighed out all the ways you know to do what with and whatnot. And he said he preferred to do it live when there's people in the chat room. So I don't uh, he being as English as his second language, I would say from living here over here with people that speak English as a second language, they're not fond of their own English. You know, they're more comfortable in their mother, uh, their mother language, whatever that is. Oh, I understand that. I get that. Right. right, right. Well, I get that impression. He never quite said that, but I would assume that. And his preference was to do it live and have a chat room going. Yeah. 
Yeah. See, and you yes. know what I kind of got out of that was, you know, like when Cir Circles and I, when we first started talking, and she said that she had an ugly accent, and it's like, oh, no, 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 no. I love her accent. I absolutely love it. It's yeah. just, it's so circles. Exotic. Yeah. yeah but it's, I grew up in L.A., so, you know, your southernish drawl at one point in my life was noticeable to me. You know, but as I got older and traveled more and saw more, certain things weren't as different as they once were. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think it's because you just kind of get yourself acclimated to it. You know, it's it's like out here, people that come through here, especially on those days where it's a little on the humid and warmish side, we have um, a feed yard not too far from town. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> and yummy. so you get the, the lovely aroma of you know i always have people tell me that that's the smell of money and i keep telling them you need to launder that uh -oh. shit because wow uh -oh. whew, it reeks yeah. and yeah. you know but you you know you get to a point where especially the people that live around closer to it they don't mm. notice it so much anymore because they become acclimated to that uh, aroma yeah. in the air so that when they go somewhere else um, and they don't smell it for a few days or whatever, and then they come back home, it's like, bam, hitting you in a nasal brick wall, you know? Mm. Whoa! Yeah. Well, I was just talking about the difference in languages, but okay, brick wall. Mm. Yeah, well, I can see how that's the same. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> in my world. Uh, uh, well, I... <laughs> How little we really know about you, Miss Mary. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> it's truly frightening. Oh, but that's okay. You should well, be thankful. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> I'm teasing. Well, I just think that you say a lot of things that other people already think. Yeah. So it's not a stretch for you to catch people that, you know, like what you say because you say what they think about. So it's easy for you. Me, I am not a guy to say the popular things in the world, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but you do say mm. things. You say things that a lot of people have running around in the back of their head that they keep kicking it and knocking it down and telling it to shut the fuck mm -hmm. up. And and oh. then when you say mm. it, people that that little that little thought that's running around in the back of their heads, it stands up and it goes, yeah. "Hey, hey, hey." Hi, yeah, well, I know how difficult it is to admit you've been defeated by this freaking monster we live in. It's horrible. It's not It's not like a matter of pride and dignity. Or it's a matter of uh, understanding something. You're, you're being held at captive against your will. And if you're not, I don't know what you're so pleased with about the way the world runs. But I feel that... They've got guns, and they've ship, you know they've pointed at me enough times to convince me that they're there. So I don't want to play with them anymore. I'm oh. tired of it. Oh Lord, that's that's like there is a video that um, our trainer had such a crazy sense of humor, and yeah. the parts guy decided to share a video with him from YouTube about um, Pancho Villa. <laughs> and and how uh, someone had come up to this guy and asked him, have you ever met Pancho Villa? And, and it goes into this whole thing about he had a pistola, so I had to do it. <laughs> 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 and so for the rest of the time that he was out there, if, you know, if he was telling us to do something, he would say, and I have a pistola, so you must do it. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? So we just it, it we really giggled an awful lot with him. Well, because that brings out the good stuff, I guess. I don't know. I I'd rather be happy than not happy. Oh yeah, and it My, is so myself. much. It's so much better, you know. If you got to go for a work day or whatever, anyway, to pay your bills and what have you, because this is the society we live in right now. Yeah, you know. Right. So if you've got to go do that anyway, you may as well have a good time with it. And that was one thing he said when they have their when they have their team meeting when they get back to Pennsylvania and, and on Monday have a team meeting and go over and yada yada yada. He said that 
you know, he's going to tell everyone that, oh, my God, those people are just a blast to work with, which, you know, we kept sharing <laughs> videos back and forth with each other and just laughing like wow. crazy, you know, because it, like it made it go so much. Well, yeah, kind of. It made it go yeah. so much easier. And, you know, you really do retain more when you're in a positive frame of mind. So ah, the vibrations and the frequencies are taking over your world. That's right. That's wow. right. Do you feel yourself being assimilated by these powers that surround you? The The happiness vibration? Yeah. Well, you either you choose it, I think. If you don't want to be in it, then you can be pissy and argue with somebody. It's hard to be happy and fight at the same time. I don't know how to do it. You know, you're right. It is really hard to do that. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of pointless. To, but, but you got to pick one. You can't do them both simultaneously. I can't do them at the same time. I must be a limited kind of man. Limited in my little pea brain mind. You know, my mother and I used to have, oh, wow, when I was a teenager, mm -hmm. we had a couple of rip snorters. And, and the funny thing is, we never stayed mad at each other. Because we would have these uh, rip yeah. snorters and we would be yeah. growling back and forth at each other. And yeah. eventually, one of us... Either she would say, you're just a spoiled little brat, or I would say, mm. you're just a senile old bitty. Mm. Either one of those things, you know, would get said. And next thing you know, <laughs> we would both be sitting there laughing our asses off. And then we'd uh, be laughing mm. at the stupid uh. things that we were yelling at each other not a half an hour prior to that. You know, so mm -hmm. so anytime we had rip snorters, they always wound up being sitting down and just laughing until we almost peed ourselves. So, did anybody ever mention to you at the time you were just practicing for when you're older? No. Oh, okay. that w that was just how life was. Right. Okay. Well, mm, a as a teenager, I had a an older friend teach me adult ideas and such so you know it wasn't like i was blind to what was going on in the real world at a very young age mm. grim nerd said that some people are only happy when they're mad when they're mad whoa yeah shit. yeah I... well isn't isn't an emotion like a drug to a, a to the body physically Oh, yeah. Reacting to an emotion like if you're really enraged, it actually feels good. Take that fucking chair and smash that fucking thing against a wall. Put a cup. And well, here's there's brick walls. So I just be breaking furniture if I ever did it. But it's there's when you, I've done it for money, destroyed places. And I'm telling you that I get an adrenaline rush before I wear out. You know, it takes a lot of work, but. Man. <laughs> yeah, the, it is wow. fun doing the whole destructor yeah. thing. I mean, you what know, with remodeling. You know, when yeah. remodeling and that kind of stuff. Oh, man, tearing out laughing plaster. I mean, it's filthy, icky, hard work. Yeah. But, but damn. what is it about? It's like if you do like it, it's like, wow, something wrong with me. I'm destroying shit and it's giving me a giggle. <laughs> Yeah, it is rather cathartic, I think, you know, because it's like, I'm tearing shit up. I'm tearing, you know, and, and then when you get all the mess cleaned up, it's like, wow, look what I did. I did that. <laughs> yeah, I gutted a, I gutted a building in on, I think, Clement Street in San Francisco in 88 or 89. And all the buildings around it were had storefronts and stores operating and whatnot. But in this one building, it was empty wanted to take the whole bottom floor out and they turned me loose with a, a sawzall and a couple of wrenches said go have some fun <laughs> turned off all the power in the water to that particular building so if i hit a line it wouldn't do anything just had to know to cap it because it was gonna <laughs> leak when they put it back on yeah, yeah. but so, that is but, fun yeah. But to get paid to do something destructive and light, wow! <laughs> I know. I would. I'll bet. I'll bet today that would come under some kind of like 
clinical insanity. You know, you'd have some identifiable disease by the doctor. Did doctor you did you see and, the light bulb go off over my head? I just find I had an Acme light bulb moment when you said that. <laughs> All of these people that are doing all these protests and stuff, and you said getting paid yeah. to do something destructive, yeah. that's why they are just so gung-ho with this stuff, because it's like, I'm getting paid to on bust windows. Of, yeah. On top of being able to do that, yeah. yeah. then there, yeah, the illusion of, ooh, I get some zeros on a five, ooh, ain't I special? <laughs> that's right, you ain't, I mean, you am. <laughs> well, I do see this, the society that I see, it both glamorizes and criticizes wealth at the same exact time. Yeah. It's just a matter of how you look at their presentation and how you take it. I take it like a slap in the face and other people seem to go, I, I got to go get me one of those their cars. Why? Whoa, look at this. Well, no. <laughs> and then here we go. <laughs> ah. Well, you know my stand on oil so well. But people don't want to know that stuff. They tend to say, hey, are you out of your fucking mind? Pretty much is the consensus. So I've just learned to accept that part. There you, you know? go. Woody! That, Hi, yeah, Woodman! Can, yeah. I see Woody no, is on here. Oh, the wood. No, I he's know. here. The Woodman is just he logged in. Is he armed? Yeah, but is, uh, does he have weapons? Uh, a fedora. And, and I'm telling you, <laughs> he's Woody's, got a killer fedora. Woody's the. Yeah, he's the electronic, uh, the electronic hitman. Ah, yeah. He'll take you out with a stroke of the keyboard. Click. <laughs> hey, do you remember the James Bond, the guy oh. that had the the bowler hat that he would throw and like chop people's heads off with? <laughs> that <laughs> that, just... that was one of his enemies. That yeah, guy, a Japanese guy. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember that which one it was. Goldfinger. I don't know. I don't know. You hit me with a good one, but yeah, the bowler hat and the Japanese looking bald headed guy. Yeah. yeah. And then Jaws Keel with the with the steel teeth. Uh, oh, uh, that is freaky. When of course he's freaky looking when he smiles anyway. But man, when them is is this the blue hair talking? I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, men that she thinks of often. <laughs> Ah. What, what brought these gentlemen to your mind, Miss Mary? I, well, I, mean, wow. I saw the fedora. Killer and then, assassins. <laughs> well, you know how my mind works. I mean, I've got all what those. What fedora? I, I, I'm not wearing a fucking hat. No, what? Woodman. Or no, he said he <laughs> said he said fedora, That's and right. and I went yeah. fedora. And <laughs> wow! Welcome to the dork table, everybody. <laughs> This Weird. is what Weird. happens when a breeze wow. blows through my mind and the cobwebs in there start connecting. It's like you never know where we're going to end up. Wow. We got blown <laughs> off course and we're not even in a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't it oh, great? Yeah. And I don't care what Gary Oldman says about it, but I do believe graffiti is good for a society. And yeah. there's plenty of it in Denmark. These kids are talented and they show it off. Mm. Thank you. I've spoken for the moral minority. <laughs> yeah, we have you an know, awful those... lot of graffiti that goes through because, you know, kids yeah. paint on the on the train cars. And so you get to see all kinds of wake. <laughs> and there's some very, very yeah. talented people out there. Yeah. And to think how quickly they need to do that. It's like wow! I am just totally amazed. Right, and all that all that um, art is wasted, in a sense, because these kids don't have opportunity financially to produce better shit. And they're, yet, they're back by money, not not talent. So that just goes to show that the people that make decisions are a bunch of selfish fucks. Yeah. You know, if you're not you're not in the club, you know, maybe you should make more room for more people to be in the fucking club. 
and stop all this hoarding like a bunch of jackasses. Get supported by other people that think they're doing so good that they can afford to make decisions for you. And wow. Yep. I don't think so, Bosco. You know, I just finally read what Free Enslaved said there about um, he likes the fifth element's explanation about destruction. And yes, that is that is tr that is a very good line. Of course, that whole movie is full of what really is, good one-liners. What is? I don't know what the explanation is. You're talking over my um, head here. You know, destruction is a good thing because you have all these little robots and they come out and they're they're so busy and they're cleaning up messes and yada, 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 yada. You really need to see the movie in order to, to get that because okay. I totally butchered it. But... It gets to kind of weird towards the end. Some guy dressed up like a girl, and I don't know. There, there's a girl runs around the whole movie with band aids on her nipples, and yeah, I don't. I couldn't make much of it. It's a fun movie. Kind of sci-fi futuristic. Eh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. I yeah. I don't need to get high. I mean, I need to get high to enjoy that. So, it's yeah. a Bruce Willis movie. That's pretty much oh, enough said. Oh, there you go, Bruce Willis. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Who's you know, Bruce Willis? So the you know, and here's what people get. Hmm, they don't seem to understand this logic. Ronald Reagan was a movie actor that yeah. went into politics. Okay. Yeah. So what is a movie actor anyway? Well, a movie actor is somebody that could pretend to be somebody. And convince you that they're that person. Yeah, and they get paid to do that. We pay then them. They then they made them a politician, Mary. What were these idiots thinking? Oy. Actually, what they did was they just brought it out in the open with Ronnie Reagan. It's, it's a big game. It's, it's a chess like all of them are freaking players. They're all bit players. Yeah. Every damn one of them. It's a B movie that we're, we are interacting in right now. And yeah. <laughs> oh you move your hands. Oh, okay. I, I know you're I'm waving I'm, at me. No, so I'm you're getting on fire over there. And you're trying to get me to notice. I didn't know. What... Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm getting that all Italian cool. on you here using the hands. <laughs> That's a rare. Wow. If, if R L M. If you guys could only see this with your own eyes, with <laughs> your own eyes, then you'd know. Why I got to do this every Saturday. <laughs> fun. I, I, you know what? I'm serious about this. So I think me and you should um, do a, a YouTube link in split screen with you on one side and me on the other. And we'll get one of the technical geeks to like circle probably know how to do it. Hmm? Oh, that would be funny. And then we'll, we'll just. Do something for fifteen minutes and see if it's any good after we're done. And if it's any good, then you'll then you can put it up, right? Well, or I do, think this, you can this, actually do a live YouTube thing. A live one? I don't know. You want to do a live one? I don't we'll know. Think for the spring, right, right, right. But better weather. It's cold now, but I could see that. You know, T side with Flash, somebody in Denmark, and Miss Mary. We could do the program from the outside. Uh, of each house, but filming the the city, you know, the the yard we're in. Ah, oh, hmm. <laughs> and do like a fifteen minute thing for the YouTube, where Denmark meets Kansas. You know, oh, right how there, scary! There at that invisible border. Ah, sock puppet wants to know what the point of view of the dork hosts is on destruction, and it depends on what the. In to me, it's it depends on what the intent of the destruction is. You know, are you just are you destroying something to put up something else, or are you destroying just to be a destructive little shit? And mm. and there's an awful lot of people that say, oh, but you know, volcanic eruptions are horrid, and and forest fires are horrid, and all of this other fun stuff is just bad stuff. Well, it's try, bad try initially. But still, try to avoid looking at when when they're happening. Well, you know they. All of those things, you know, anything that destroys something is going to be mm. bad initially for someone. That's mm. just, that's why it's called destruction. But, yeah. you know, when you, when you go back after a volcanic eruption and you see that life is coming back, you yes. know, you, 
then you and then you go back about 20 years later you know like after a forest fire or something and and the soil is replenished and and all of this other fun stuff you know and then you start putting it in the in the uh, macro scale of you know when a um when a star goes nova or something in order for a lot of the chemical components that we have or elements that we have right now for, in order for them to even exist a star had to go nova and odds mm -hmm. are there were some kind of planetoids or planets around those stars so how many civilizations got totally wiped from the universe because a star Nine. went supernova 9 Nine? Nine did? Okay, thank you, you for You asked. I'm okay. giving you the answer. The well, answer I'm, is nine. I'm glad, nine more. I'm glad you knew that. <laughs> wow. See how smart the, you are? So, the Borg assimilated everybody else. <laughs> oh, okay. So, you know, Don't you know? <laughs> in nature, there is no real reasoning behind it. It's just that some things, just in order for other things to be created, some things need to be taken out of the way or destroyed. Wow. Um, wow. In humanity, lots of things get destroyed mm -hmm. just for shits and giggles, just because they can. And that's not necessarily a good thing. Unless you're Why like not? tearing out laugh and plaster just because you can. And then it well, is a good thing. But Well, maybe these horrible... Okay, but think about the side of the coin you stand on, right? Mm -hmm. Because if, if there is in your world, the way you're describing it, there is both bad and good then that's what you're looking at. Bad and good are perspectives. Right, but you're describing one, so there makes room for the other one um, just from listening. You yep. know, that's my conditioning, dear. When I hear somebody defend, then there's the other side, which is attack. Ah. And, yeah, I just automatically assume from my, you know, my history of conversation with people in my life certain ideas ah based on the words i'm hearing wow isn't it complicated little girl <laughs> it is but you know what I'm, pancakes uh, is right 42 is the mm. ultimate answer yeah but he doesn't know what the fucking question is either i asked him <laughs> i said pancakes pancakes <laughs> what is the ultimate question and he said i don't know but Therefore, the answer is are. 42. <laughs> but, yeah, we know the answer, but we don't know what the question is. So you're kind of back where you started. That's why me and Cirque went in probability drive a couple weeks ago, and we ain't looking back. <laughs> oh, you went into the improbability drive? I want, oh, I want yeah, one I, of those. I, I declared that like three weeks ago, and she agreed, so we're just going. Sweet. Whatever. Yeah. Sweet. Well, we, we have like a... What do you call it? The the house chain, you know, around the throat. But we've managed to find a way to enjoy it. Ah, hi, cowboy. Cowboy's here, too. Holy yep. smoke. Cowboy showed up. Weehoo. Hey, Saturday pancakes. I didn't even see him adding his name. He's getting all fancy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Saturday pancakes. And see, Ooh. he he shared the YouTube video, yeah. the the answer to uh -huh. life, universe, uh -huh. and everything. Yeah, see, I think I know where that's going. Wow. <laughs> and Grimmy had a super, or he's seen some supernovas with three ninety six under the hood. It, them was some screaming meanies. Now, did you know? Here's a dork moment for you, Mary. Oh, I don't know what's what's happening i'm being taken over by the spirit oh. but douglas adams was a very good writer uh-huh very very creative kind of guy but he got himself if you will in kind of that comedy rut where everything he wrote was you just knew it was him when you read it yeah because he was stuck in well right well he did another character named dirk gently as a holistic detective yes i've read those books too yeah, but they made a TV show out of it. And I thought, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, I'll be as disappointed as it was with The Hobbit. And anything I read that they put on film just totally sucked. I, I don't know. Except for um, To Kill a Mockingbird was pretty close. But anyway, back to my point. 
Oh, <laughs> I guess I made it. Go ahead. Ow. Mm, sorry. Oh, Kitty cat slipped. Eh, 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 eh. One way or the other. Uh, mm, uh, mm. A green well, pinto. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm reading the chat. <laughs> the, the, written, the written word is left to your own specific interpretation. Yes. As opposed to a film, which is, it's made directed at a certain audience. They're looking for certain kinds of people to watch this. And the film puts forth not necessarily what the author intended in, you know, if the book, if it's based on a book, um, yeah. it puts forth what the producer or the director's interpretation and uh, what the money people behind want to sell. With Mary and Flash. Yeah. As the, as the dorks see it. Well, see, there you go. There's my, I love that word interpretation. Because I don't know how anybody can agree with somebody else about anything because we're all interpreting it in an individual way. Yeah. So there's something beyond my understanding of of that particular dilemma. You know, how how other people interpret shit really isn't any of my business in the first place. But here's the weird part, because I read their opinions on Internet sites, for example, all of a sudden, that person's opinion has a, has a value, I suppose, or a, I don't know what what word to use to explain why it's got the attention because it's in print, or, you know, it's in print in front of my face, and I'm on RLM. So why do I care what it says at all? I don't know. Why do you care? I can't answer that for you. Well, right. I know you can't, but I thought we could talk about it, and, and I'd pick at you a little bit. And oh, you pick at me a little bit. Get, I like to get, see other people's opinions. I like to see other people's expressions. But I'm one. I grew up with a dad that used to play with words all the time. So I've, I've, you know, yeah. that's I do that as well. And I get accused of be, of being a word player. I don't think I'm playing. Well, could be taken that way though, but because I'm jovial and ha 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 about shit, don't take it for not fucking serious for one minute. Because well, I'm very serious, I just take life as like, ah, it's a fucking joke. What can you do but laugh at this crazy shit we do? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Treat each other like shit over pieces of paper and ideas and the. The news and the politicians said so. You know, fuck them. I'm so tired of all that negative shit. Eh. You know, yeah. and I get all I get all black ass, Mary, and I start sniveling. I start sniveling like a voter. You get black ass and then start sniffling. I'm thinking, hun, d yeah. do you need an anatomy lesson? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, I don't know. Let me ask my wife. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get a thumbs up on this one, Mary, but I'll give it a shot. I'll do it for the dork table. <laughs> hey, Circles, is his black ass attached to his sniffler? <laughs> Poor Circles. She's missing all this jovial fucking happiness tonight, too. Sure, her mom and her sister and uh, her two nephews and a friend came by today. Cool. So they're all downstairs enjoying the house. And I'm up here in my, you know, little space doing In your my Lou thing. cave. Well, no, this is our cave. We ah. share the cave. I could have gone into my cave, but eh, I like it better in here. Oh, okay. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. P. Bunyan's Strength. talking about Wall E. It's Wall, Wall e. e. No, Wall, Wall e. e from the movie Wall E. Wall E. Wall E. Uh, Wall -E. I don't know. You're teasing it's me. A, it's an animated <laughs> movie. It's a cute right. little movie. Yeah, well, how old is it? Is it like older than five years? Uh, probably, uh, I don't know. No, it might be like within the last five years. Oh, I've seen it right. with my grandkids. Least, okay, if it's less than five, I would understand why I have no idea what it's about. Uh, I think it's a Pixar. Because you might not know this about me, Mary, but I'm going to come clean and tell you that something I don't tell too many people. What's that? I'm a 
Disney art fan. I do not like Disney, but I like the style of the original movie art. So ah. I'm in a, I, yeah, I'm in a quandary. Oh, you know, because in one way it slaps my society hatred bone because it's fucking Disney. And then he grabs my artistic appreciate this bone. And then I'm stuck and I go, wow, who do I be loyal to? <gasps> Oh, what will society think of me? <laughs> uh, and how much shit will you give for that? Let's well, ask Alex Trebek. No, you know, see, there is a reality to that, though. <clears throat> see, I believe I have an inherent good guy inside that knows well, no matter where I go, that just knows don't, you know, don't do these things. I don't even think about what they are. I just know not to do them. I'm an old man now, right? So I still, I go out in the world and uh, I wonder about, do other people have the same, you know, natural knowledge that I got? So I just assume they have and it seems to work without ever confronting anybody about it. But all right, here, I'll do this with you. I'm going to confront you, mm -hmm. all right? Are, are you, a, a, and we all know because you've done the radio so long, and but we know who you are. But when you go out in public, you're just a, a nice person to encounter. Well, and I try that to be. is what is wrong. Okay, but see, if there's anything to, to snivel about society, that's what it is, is that lack of uh, niceness because it's so anonymous to be in the city. Oh, yeah. You're and whenever I go to, to the city, I have people yeah. tell me, stop yeah. making eye contact. Stop smiling at yeah. people. It's like, why? Why? Because <laughs> their know. conditioning is different. Well, and I have for, been well, told that that's... Tables. I've been told that's a social faux pas to make eye contact with people in the city. And mm. it's like, that's what's wrong with people in the city. Is they don't make eye contact yeah. and they don't smile at each yeah. other. Why it's in the an aggressive hell? Act. If you're a dog, it's an aggressive act. But we're not dogs, are we? No. So, well, okay. Now, here's where my questions come in. Where does society get us to behave like dogs against our will? Because it's not natural to avoid and be mean to other people. It's more natural to engage them and be jovial and are nice and pass your fucking way. But it's not natural is to always be angry at somebody. That's the unnatural life right there. Yeah, but is it really against your will if you don't even realize that you've been trained to do that? Well, all right. I'm thinking of a, of a natural state of human being, whatever you want to call us, mankind. Yeah, I think it is unnatural. I think it's brought, it, you're taught the negative in a, way that's not balanced with the positive and we come out with a really fucked up perspective of how to behave with each other and i'm just as guilty of it as the people that i think do it which is everybody because i don't think we're taught properly on an even level you know there's different you grew up one way i grew up another way so did they so did they so did they but i think there's a like a law of nature that runs real deep in human life. And it's not the same for the animals. They're they're a little different than we are. Well, yeah. I mean, we're all animals, but we, for some know, silly that. reason... No, 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 no. I'm not seeing... There you go. We. No. Back up. Back up a little bit, little missy. I ain't going to be an animal today on the dark table. You can be an animal. I'm going to be a man today. Thank you very much. Ah, but ooh mans <laughs> ooh mans are part of the animal kingdom. <laughs> it is a go. kingdom, don't you know? Okay, but when the when the lawyers and the the judges start using the words to in, to describe us in ways to create currency, then whatever we are starts to fall apart. Only if we go by their definitions. Who says I have to listen to... There's obviously a lot of people out there that are changing the definition of words without <laughs> telling me, you know? <laughs> this this shit of liberal now means that you have to be mm. a whiny wanker butt. 
what, uh, what, the, what? I looked up liberal in the dictionary, in the collegiate dictionary that was granted. It was printed multiple years ago. But liberal didn't mean <laughs> anything. Yeah, you know, it it didn't say anything in there about being a, a total whiny, destructive whanny woo. Well, what exa- okay, what exactly is that anyway? What a whanny woo? I, I, <laughs> what, what, uh, here's what what I know is I've seen a few links on the internet uh-huh. about some violent activity in my ex home. Okay, but. Here I am in Denmark, and for all I know, this film is five years old, and it's got nothing to do with what they're telling me it's about. I got no way to verify anything, because the people that I know don't seem to live on top of these riots and problems that exist. Everybody that I talk to on a one-on-one basis seems to live in a halfway decent place to live. Ah. Well, I know I do. Right. And that's what I mean. I I don't have any uh, close interactions with people that are living in a battle zone. So it's all kind of make-believe right now. You know what I mean? Well, or not, I'm not there to see it. I'm only listening to stories. Uh Uh-huh. And the only only story I'm sure of is that um, Trump got elected as the POTUS. Yeah. That, I'm I'm convinced of that, because my nephew is making fun of him today again. (laughs) Oh, oh, and see, that's something that uh, Sock shared <laughs> over in the uh, corner pocket, and it's it's little memes uh, of uh, tiny uh, tiny Trump memes, and they're just so freaking <laughs> funny, because it's like, wow. okay, you take his, it's like uh, Lug's girlfriend, Tiny. You know, her nickname is Tiny, but she is anything but Tiny, and Trump's uh-huh. ego is massive, but these these memes yeah. he's just this little bitty guy he's like a little mini me and so it's they're just funnier in hell wow uh, yeah he's not how is he going to deal with all this this guy wanted to change libel laws before he got voted in right i don't uh, know what are we all being scammed again i mean that's what i think i don't believe two fucking words that i do here and wow it just it seems to get worse and worse all the time. Are you telling People me are, that I have to actually pay attention to Trumples? I don't know. Does it benefit you to do that? No. Somehow. No. Oh, well, no, then I... Well, the reason I was is because Ollie was making fun of him today and it brought it to mind. You know, because kids downstairs. Ah. And to be so far away and have somebody so young making a adult joke <laughs> about something like this it's just out of pocket i didn't grow up like that when i was a kid you had you know guidelines to talk about the adults in yeah ah. unless you're a, unless you're a shit mouth and you're willing to get yourself slapped over words you kept your fucking mouth shut people would knock you down that's the world i grew up in so to yeah, people get all pissed off over names. <laughs> Give me a break. It's not that big a deal, people. It's really not. Ah. I get I get called names all the time. <laughs> so I'm used to it. Names, 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 names. Someone well, called me names. Ooh, wow. Well, hey. It's all a matter of how you were raised with it. See? That's what I think. You adapt to the circumstances you're given. Well, and it see, I, I got called names all the time by my brothers because, well, they're brothers and that's what they do. No. You know, and then people at school used to tease me all the time as well and call me names. And, oh. and I just got to the point where it's like, hey, okay, you know, you. if it comforts you to call me names, you just go right on ahead. I don't have to answer to it. So... Uh, oh, you ass munch. I see you with your new coffee. That's right. That's just it's wrong. Our, it's, it's in her contract. Oh. I oh. said to her when I started this here gig with you that I will get one cup of coffee at some point during the show so that I could brag about I got my coffee. <laughs> I see how you are. It's my favorite. uh, I know. I'm just shameless, but it's my favorite part of it, the coffee. Ah, I see how you are. Well, you know, I guess I'm just a a strange type of human because 
I hold physical things more dear than electronic sound visual things. If I can touch it with my little, you know, tiny little Trump hands. Then, <laughs> <laughs> What's Trump? You took Trump's hands. What's he doing? No, I got small hands. Oh, but you said that you're I'm not, they're tiny little Trump I, hands. So Yeah, but I've got to touch things to be a, connected to them. I see how you are. You're a toucher. You're one of them toucher people. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah. Not, <sighs> and I'm not a touchy-feely. I'm just, if I'll put my fucking hands on it, that's because I wanted to. And I wanted to be sure it was real. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Hey, just because you see shit, you know, doesn't mean they're not real. <laughs> Purple dragons, you know. I you saw know, a way cool dragon kite the other day. That was way cool. Oh No, I was being sarcastic about drug addiction and such that people like to bend the truth about. Oh. You know, my favorite people that tell the best stories about drugs are people that never did any. <laughs> okay okay yeah yeah Got great stories to tell you about well this will happen and that'll happen when when did it happen to you oh no this is the guy that they caught and put in jail well you know what i hate to tell you folks this live on the radio but i've been alive long enough to know that everything you see about the news and police and all that shit, it's not all real don't 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 go running around telling all your friends and neighbors. They don't. You, you don't want them to know yet. <laughs> Shh. Ah. Ah. Be well. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> We're hunting well, wabbits. <laughs> I don't know. I. So what the fuck is a big society come to? Everybody that lives in a big society all has the same thing on their mind. What was I thinking? <laughs> I... I I never see any any good type. No matter where I go, I go to other places beside RLM. RLM is just particular favorite, and the consensus is always the same. So, and it's all coming from the bigger places. Yeah, very very unhappy people, Mary. What what's going on? We need to give them some positive love vibrations. I think. they need they need some shiny happy people. Well, there you go. But see, I make a joke in a sense, but in a way, I really mean it. You know, it's that wavelength and that mindset, and we're not taught to uh, develop these things as people. Well, no, because so if you develop those things as people, then you're not going to be able to be controlled. Duh. Well, right, but the the desire to control other people is huge. God, it even runs amongst us slaves. The slaves love it. Boy, you make a slave master out of one of us, and boy, we're a tyrant. Well, yeah. We'll beat, we'll beat you to death with your own whip. Yeah. You know, and you know, you know how stupid that whole slave mentality is? How do you get a fucker to work if you just beat him with a whip? There's a couple of months of recovery right there. Oh, what are you, stupid? Yeah, because... It's that whole, okay, if you don't work now, even after I've beat you to where you can't move, if you don't get out there and work harder, I'm going to beat right. you some more. Oh, yeah, that's going to do it. Yeah. All right. But they're still using that story to avoid the true story, which is the way they really do it. Well, with this, but see, when this they bullshit. do that, when they beat someone with a whip and then they whoop them to, you know, within an inch of their life, they're not doing it to get that person to perform more. They're using the that one. person as the example so that everyone else will go, holy shit, do you see what they did to him? I don't want that shit done to me. So they go out there and they work double and triple time. Right. And I'm telling people from my own experience that 90% of it is threat. Yeah. And 10% of it is you got to have enough money for them to bother to take from you to to be a victim of them. Yeah? Yeah, you know, and if people would just realize that all that threat, all that bluff and bluster, if you just call them out on their bullshit and everybody just gets together and goes, oh, really? You're going to beat us all? 
I would suggest that soon because they got a president that's pumping up asset forfeiture as a way to fight crime. The the war against drugs and such will be fought in ways that you can't use yourself to defend them. So, So, okay, well, wait a minute. Why is it a fictitious thing like a government? Why can it do something that we would go to jail for doing? Why is that? Okay. Yeah, that's the merry side of it. Yeah. He said, ah, you always do that to me. Yes, so I do. Well, you you think what I'm thinking, but in your thinking way. Mm-hmm. And, and you say it in that, ex, you know, easily to understand kind of language. Ah. Wow. I'm easy yeah, well, to understand. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're very black and white in your examples and your stands on such uh yeah i don't i don't find a lot of uh wondering about what the fuck you're talking about <laughs> i always know what you're talking about it's me <laughs> i'm i'm the one that nobody's sure what what i'm fucking talking about because i bounce around from my idea to idea i got the attention span of a newt it it's my i don't know is it a blessing or a curse i don't know <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun though. and i get to be the interpreter can i do uh, it in an interpretive dance i get, wow. i think that would be lost on the radio wouldn't it <laughs> well not if you got access to this here skype that i'm videotaping <laughs> oh oh god i'm not taping i don't know i know you're I was, afraid of pushing buttons shit i'm liable to blow something up it's just <laughs> insane well i you know what i I told, I committed you to our further our dark table extravaganza. By the way, I, I didn't mean to tell you this, but yeah, I told Grim yesterday. You know, uh, I was gonna have you guide me through the process of going on the air, so that I could learn by hands on how to do it, make my notes, and do it right without forgetting to hit record or something like I did the last time. <laughs> So, you're going to have to be my uh, my teacher now. Next, after next week, we'll start our program for me to learn to get us on the air. Two weeks from today. In two weeks from today, my cherry will be broken right here live on the RLM radio. Oh wow! Oh, <laughs> oh, thanks Bring for that. The Bring I... the kids. Yeah, it's going to be a party. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. No, I'm going to air it. You're going to sit there and you're going to tell me what to do. And I'm going to do it on this side. And you're going to be me. And I'm going to be you. Oh, this could be really, really interesting. Yeah. And we're going to do that until I learn how to do it. And I'm just warning you, I really am bad at stuff like this. Wow. (laughs) Don't get mad at me. (laughs) I'm one, you know, and, I'm one of those, I'm one of those people, the student driver that, you know, you're making me fucking nervous is what your problem is. This is why I'm driving bad because you're breathing down my neck. So if you get out the car and watch, I'll show you how I can drive this fucking car. But it, do, it doesn't, real life doesn't work that way. I'll watch from over there. <laughs> well, I just, when I'm in a, uh. In a car with five people, I'm just very crowded. I don't like it. Well, that's because you're over there where they have small cars. No, I'm talking about <laughs> driver's ed when I was in a fucking 80s, what was it? A, oh, no, 76. Oh, uh, we, don't, we don't want to go there to that driver's ed. I have traumatic a, memories yeah, from driver's ed. Beautiful Buick, a two-door, but it had... It had enough room for five people, but I didn't like it. And it had that damn driver, the, you know, driver teacher sitting next to me up in the front seat. You know, it's like, God damn, go sit in the back or something. <laughs> no, he had me right there breathing all over me and shit. Yeah, well, Just at least you didn't have a driver's ed teacher that was right there. And then you forgot and wore a dress the day you had to drive. And because, you know, everybody had already warned you don't wear a dress on the days you have to drive. And. Yeah, wore a dress on the day I had to drive, and and yeah, I got felt up. And he oh, did this oh, when wow. well when we were going down the highway, and I mean it was my first time hey. on the highway to start with, and I tell you what, he was afraid I was going to wreck the car because I backhanded him. 
Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Why bring back such fond memories of your past? Huh? Yeah. Well, well see, you know, drivers, that was it's... back in the day when the skirts were really, really short. And, yeah. Then he tried oh, yeah. to get me yeah. kicked out of driver's ed, and, and I told my mom what happened, and mom came to school, and she threatened to backhand him, too. <laughs> I don't know what planet you're living on, but I've seen girls wearing dental floss in the last 10 years. Oh. So, well, you yeah, know, short skirts might have came and went, but uh, the stuff that people will do today to get your attention is beyond your wildest dreams. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you Maybe know, this was when mini skirts were first coming into. Yeah. Yeah, I was nine years old. I don't fucking remember. I mean, damn, that's cruel. <laughs> 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 I wasn't old enough to figure out what hole to pee out of yet, and here they got skirts up to their eyebrows, and I don't even know what I'm looking at yet. It yeah, you're just terrible. looking up and going, what's that? <laughs> terrible, waste, terrible waste of time, I'm telling you. <laughs> but, see, but now we have the 21st century and all its marvelous splendor. Yep. Yep, where anything goes. Wow. What, what is with people? I mean, Christ, when I was in San Francisco, they had a a, a gay neighborhood, right? The Castro. Mm -hmm. And well, after I left it, they made it nude on top of it all. So you had like all the fags in town that lived there running around naked with towels to sit on. And I was, oh, boy, I'm glad I moved. <laughs> 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 oh, there was, you know, if there's anything that you don't want to see, because there's some things that you'll see in your life, you can't unsee them when you see them. Well, and that's it. And I'm not talking pictures. No, this, I'm talking about with my own two eyes. And the last thing I wanted to see was a restaurant cafe filled with naked fags sitting on towels. Oh. So luckily I didn't have to. But wow, to live there and have that happen. Can you? What a sh that's shell shocking to me. It's like I'm wondering, did yeah. Douglas Adams go to San Francisco during that time frame? Because you know when he wrote Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and everything, don't forget your towel. Is that <laughs> that just popped hitchhiker into my head? Was, oh, but his premise was different because you can always borrow soap or toothpaste, but come on, yeah, at least bring your own fucking towel. Yeah, yeah. But wow, wow. Uh, you were close. No, he wasn't talking about hiding parts. He was talking about keeping them clean and fresh. Well, so yeah. People, you know, I'm, I'm just... Being, oh, I get this mental image of, thank God they're sitting on a towel. You know? <laughs> exactly. And that's what the law, the law did dictate that part. But I was kind of disappointed to find out that the society that I once was pleased to, to live in, I lived there for three years, and I didn't find out people to be too weird. You know, it's kind of weird. I drank a lot in the tenderloin and shit, but I lived in the Richmond, and it was more or less working class, you know, people in business, kind of secretary, kind of paperwork jobs and shit like that. You know, it wasn't, um, I don't know, uh, too many ditch diggers where I lived. Let's say that. Cotton pickers. Ah, ah. Yeah, so, but I would go downtown and drink in one of the worst parts of town. Loved it. The Mission. And, uh, <laughs> but the Castro, no, I, I would avoid that. You have to go through it or around it or something, but don't stop in it. And I'm not particularly, what is it, like uh, homophobic. I just don't want to be a part of their society where to, be, to not be one is bad. You know, See, and, and I really don't care what people do in the privacy of their own home, you know, or in yes, their bedroom exactly. or whatever, so yeah. long as it's consenting adults. But, but when you when come you out, it, it's like that meme uh, that I saw, you know, religion is all well and good until you start what you, or religion is like a penis. It's all well and yeah. good that you have one and <laughs> that you're very proud of it. But when you start waving it in my face, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, wow. You know, wow. and so these I see these freaking pictures from from and granted I I live in a very sheltered area, thank God. But I see these pictures of gay pride parade where people are wandering around with nothing but tassels and a thong, you know, which is basically an eye patch that they use for a marble bag and 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 I just and they're 
you know, shaking their their junk yeah, in front of the kids they, along the parade route. And I'm thinking, dude, do you not have any freaking dignity at all? Of course not. That's not the point. The point is, is to make the abstract in life a normal part of life so that you will eat your shit sandwich and not complain. Oh, well, I'm not going to eat that shit sandwich. That's, see, there's that Pancho, Pancho Villa thing again. I had the pistola. He told me to eat shit. I was not hungry, but he told me to eat shit, and he had the pistola, so I ate shit. So, well, <laughs> uh, and I see it as a chess game, and they call it Democrat and Republican. Let's use those two terms for a moment. And it's just a chess game. And the lawyers move the population in this direction to get them to do that to make money. And then they push them in a different direction to get them to do that to make money. And that's it. In other words, they just keep pushing them in different directions to where nobody knows which direction they're actually going. They just keep getting pushed. and Until the shock value doesn't have a value, they're going to push it until it's common. Well, sorry. Well, right, but see, it depends on where you live, how much of weird you've been exposed to, to the point of weird isn't weird, it's normal to you. No, weird is just fucking weird. (laughs) Well, no, not too, okay. (laughs) All right, but then, I was taught to put myself into the shoes of the other guy, Uh and there's just some guys on this planet, I can't do that. (laughs) Hey, no way, I'm putting myself in your shoes because I wouldn't that's not natural to me and it's taken as some big insult go, wow and that kind of the same thing that you're accusing me of doing it's no different so live with it <laughs> it's called prejudice you freaking idiot what is wrong with being prejudice i don't get it prejudice is a bias is basically what it is and everybody everybody shows bias at one time okay. or another yeah. I personally have a bias towards yeah. I would much rather have broccoli than Brussels sprouts. That's a bias. Oh. You oh. know? So what about if so Jews or niggers it's still it's, broccoli or Brussels sprouts? Yeah, basically. Okay. Right. But that's the kind of easy brain you have. There's some of us that just pick the shit apart till all you got is a pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> And you're still looking for the kernels of corn, huh? (laughs) Yeah, well, the the parts are so small, I can't see them with my bare eyes anymore, but they've piled up, and now it's just a big pile. (laughs) There's there's no sense to be made of this. And and knowing that, I just accepted, hey, it's all a big illusion. Ta-da! It's a stinking pile. (laughs) Yeah, but... I gave him instructions last. I took over the world, just in case you didn't notice. And I told him, stop killing each other. And no success yet. I'm waiting. <laughs> but there you go. I guess I'm just not a very good ruler, because that's what I wanted them to do, was to stop killing each other, and we'll start there. But nope. They're still at it. <laughs> This Mm. might take longer than I thought. (laughs) Wow. Well, if you took your world over and your rule was, ain't nobody going to die on my watch except me. (laughs) (laughs) I'll bet your world would improve a lot. Well, Well, that's the one I live under. Hey, ain't nobody here dying but me and I'm still here. So there you go. Y'all are stuck. See, you could be selfish in a way that helps other people. <laughs> ah. It's just all about, yeah, it's all matter how you put it to contract. Yeah, okay, so, <laughs> ah, I get that. Well, we live in contract. Uh-huh. They're emotional contract, verbal contract, written contract, social contract. Then the animal kingdom's got to play in it, too. And I can proudly say to this day, I've never in my life have I ever been attacked by an animal. And I have handled animals of all kinds of different varieties. I even had a boa constrictor. Never struck me, never, no, it was just a docile snake, about six, four, four and a half feet long. That just wanted a, to give you a hug. No, it 
it, no, there was never any aggression. In the, but any, and I've never been attacked by any. But I'll tell you, there's one, there's an animal that I've been attacked by. And that there animal had two legs and two arms and two eyes. Ah. Called itself human. Mm. Yep. Yep. Mm. Aha. Uh-huh. So, so, at one point in my life, I came to this conclusion for me that something about me was attracting those fucking predators. And I wasn't going to have any more of that shit. I'm tired of it. There you go. Yeah. That's the end of that story. Oh, 31 years, I think. 31. Coming up or, or about somewhere like that. I remember I was in that wicked San Francisco city when I made that decision. Ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you know me. I, I oh. tend to scroll while you're chit-chatting. Yeah, who are you again, Miss Mary? Uh, yeah. Hey, Firefox sucks. That oh, that's not good news. Never mind. <laughs> no, I'm over here on Fakey Book, and <laughs> hey, I was reading text like you. It said Firefox sucks. I thought it was a good thing for a minute. It does. <laughs> you know, that's what it said. I looked at the screen, and those two words just grabbed my eyeballs like. Firefox sucks, so hot mama yeah, sucks. That, ah, okay. I'm, holy shit, life is good for some. No, I guess it's not a good thing. <laughs> well, okay, so you went off on that tangent. I'm scrolling down Fakey Book just to see if there's anything worth <laughs> oh, the shit. Yeah. And and we someone just shared a link, birth control for grandma. But we got RLM Radio, Smoke and Mirrors, with Rob Works. And, and Quasimodo. Quasi- Right after us, Miss Mary. Right after us. Right after us. Be on the R, L, and N. Right here, but not right now. No, not now. In no, any case. In like half an hour. This, I, I saw, and, and all I got was birth control for grandma. And I thought, okay, <laughs> I got to check this shit out. So oh, we're going to find okay. out live, Okay. okay. Okay, so, the out. doctor that uh, had been seeing an 80-year-old woman for most of her life finally retired. At her next checkup, the new doctor told her to bring a list of all of the medicines that had been prescribed for her. As the doctor was looking through these, his eyes grew wide as he realized Grandma had a prescription for birth control pills. Mrs. Smith, do you realize that these are birth control pills? Yes, she said, they help me sleep at night. Well, Mrs. Smith, I'm sure um, that, uh, you know, there is absolutely nothing in these that could possibly help you sleep. And that's when the little old lady reached out and patted the young doctor's knee and said, Yes, dear, I know that. But every morning I grind one up and mix it in a glass of orange juice that my 16-year-old granddaughter drinks. And believe me, it definitely helps me sleep at night. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, terrible. <laughs> you, you do know what I think I know about medicine, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. Then, as funny as that joke could have been, very well could have been a funny joke, Miss Mary. Oh, I would have been. Ha, 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 ha. But... I went, oh, birth control pills. And I looked at the serious side of what they are Mm -hmm. and thought, oh, and then this woman's crushing them up and putting them in somebody's drink. Yeah. So I couldn't, I could never get to the funny part. Oh, man. Now you've damaged me. Yes. This this is what you did. You did this to me. (laughs) (laughs) I used to be a total prick (laughs) once upon a time. And now, no, now I'm all Mr. Sensitive. (laughs) I'm you sensitive. did this to me. I, I have feelings. Oh, so <laughs> I'm a special snowflake. <laughs> well, it's winter really? time. It's a good thing. I, I, but I remember a day when I didn't know my ass from my elbow, and I didn't know what they were putting in those pills. And so now, and then plus now to know what's in them, and then to think, oh, somebody put them in your drink so that they could sleep. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I hope they get what they put out. That's what I think. But see, my perspective is changed. Yeah. And now I'm a spe- Oh, I'm so mushy. I'm making myself sick. This is horrible. I don't know what I'm going to do. 
the other sharks are going to probably turn their backs on me. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'll be I'll be alone in the world, Mary. What will I ever do? Alone uh, and abandoned. Yeah, I won't have a I won't have a group of sharks to protect me from the evil that men's do. What will I, what will become of me? Oh no, my future looks bleak. <laughs> Maybe you need to get your eyes checked. No, I'm blind as a dog. That's not going to change. Oh, okay. And even in America, I had I had a guy, uh, optometrist guy, take a peek at my eyeballs and give me a, what do you call it, an uh, assessment to see if they could be uh, surgically repaired. And by God, his readings, I was just outside of repairable. Whatever they were gauged to, you could repair them within these parameters. I was just to the wrong side of it. Just outside those parameters, huh? So yeah, well I've got imp- yeah I've got uh, imperfect corneas or I don't something's wrong with my eyeballs, and I don't see clearly because of it at either a distance or far away. I, it doesn't matter. It's still bad, <laughs> ah. but yeah, man, you get used to. I don't know. I'm glad I've got the vision I got because I too like yourself enjoy walking out under a pristine blue sky and looking up into the daylight hours. Oh. At, yeah. Oh yeah, I know. I call it going to the grocery. You yeah. Know, get get out into the world for hours so take a little walk, take a look at some trees, some birds flying around. And you know what? They got some birds that are so freaking smart. These fucking birds they have these nuts. See the, the size of this thing? Uh-huh. Right here? Mm-hmm. About that big, right? Uh-huh. And the bird will fly up about 15 feet and drop the freaking thing on the sidewalk to crack it. Sweet! Yeah, but they know what they're doing. They have adapted like monkeys to use this tool, their feet, and fly up and then slap. And, but they don't do it. On, they only do it on the concrete. And see, isn't it funny, you look back, well, when I was in school, yeah, they yeah. they always told us that the dif- uh, the thing that differentiated us from the other animals in the animal kingdom was the opposable thumb, number one, and the use of tools. And then, <laughs> then <laughs> they started releasing National Geographic videos of <laughs> monkeys and gorillas with opposable yeah. thumbs and using tools. <laughs> and it's like, cool. yeah. guess what? <laughs> Guess Oops. what? You just erased what you said separated yeah. us from the rest of the animals. Now the only yeah. thing that separates us from the rest of the animals is that <laughs> we have a distinct lack of humanity. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've become painfully aware of that over my lifetime, too. Animals don't... Um, tend to be afraid of each other or us as much as we are them. Well, I think animals just have, animals just, you know, they go with whatever their nature is. That's what they go with. Whereas <laughs> as people aspire to be because because I'm yada, 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 <laughs> such and such label, <laughs> yeah. I am. And it's like, really? Seriously? Yeah. That grizzly bear is going to really appreciate your Ph.D. in physics. <laughs> yes, it is. And you know what? You run slower than Yummy. me, so <laughs> <Yummy>. <laughs> you, you well, will be yeah. a treat before I will. Yes. That's the rumor, Ike. I don't know. You want to go out and um, rustle up some bears sometime and find out? You know, I've always been told whenever you go out into the forest and, or amongst the wildlife, always yeah. take so someone that's is- slower than you are. Are there a lot of bears in Kansas? Uh, Smokey the bears. Okay, because there ain't no fucking bears where I live. I don't think there's anything bigger than a deer around here. Let's go out in the water, and then you can find some real interesting kind of creatures out there. But Oh, yeah. Well, there's interesting. And see, that's, that's the fun thing about um, wow, where I them. live is I can sit out on my little um, swing on the north side of the house. <laughs> and early yeah. in the morning, just as the sun is starting to come up, I can see the foxes. 
out in the field just to the north of me or even across the road from me and they're out there and they're just starting to get up and do the moving and shaking and the little fox tail moving and and then they get jumping around and playing and it's fun to do that to sit out and just just watch the little critters none of them come in the fence anymore because i think they've pretty much gotten that information gotten the memo around to all of the other little the critters dog, yeah. that the, the dog. dogs will eat you if you go in there, yeah. the dogs will eat you. They will play with you first, but they will eat you. So, and my dogs really are sweethearts, but oh, yeah. yeah. Do not invade I, their territory. I saw the doctor out back. I saw the doctor out back playing with a, a mouse or something one morning. Mm -hmm. From a distance. I was in the house, but the cat was, I don't know, maybe 25 yards, 20 yards away, say. 100 feet, maybe. Maybe 50. I don't know. But he was batting something around in the yard and then i'd watch and i'd see this thing this shape move across the yard and then the cat would go toward it and get it and take it back where he started again and start this process all over again it was like wow man that's yeah. what we do to each other yeah that's violent shit it's wow. catch and release yeah whoa what a cycle uh, I know. i'll pass you can have my day in that job. I don't want to do that job. Mm, I'm not real keen and on that whole catch and release thing. Somebody's got to do it. It's a job that has to be done or society will collapse. Don't you understand? Without the forces of evil to run society, you wouldn't need these great people to save you from evil. So they create evil to save you from. What you don't want to admit is... You can't be saved from these people. They need to go, all of them, but you support them. Kind of pisses me off. Just so, kind of? Well, you know what? There's this guy on this other site that I, I use, and you know he's always derogatory about Denmark. And you know, I don't give two fucks about Denmark. It's, it's, it's another fucking uh, imaginary land. The difference in... In my life to this, how it relates to me is the people here do not behave like the barbarians that I came from in public. I have not yet seen anybody. Uh, the last fist fight I saw was in Scotland, in Kirkwall. Huh. And I've been here for three years. I have yet to see any, except I saw a foreign couple fighting in the grocery one day, arguing, yelling. But... They were foreigners. They weren't from Denmark. So, hmm. but outside of that, I've never seen a Danish couple go at it in public. Not once. Strange, isn't it? Well. Go to Walmart. Go to Walmart and come home without a story to tell sometimes. There you go. There's the, there's the difference. You know what? I go to Walmart at least once a month, and I rarely yeah. have a story to tell. Well, you don't live in an exciting part of the Ponderosa either there, little missy. No, you folks folks around these parts don't put up with that kind of nonsense, don't right. you know? See, I'm talking, go to a city where there's a half a million idiots <laughs> that all want to be individual. That's that's what's wrong. <laughs> it's, and they got them all convinced that they're going to get along with each other. No, you're in little splintered groups and you're going to hate each other and this shit's going to happen because of it. And that's the way it is. It's got nothing to do with what you believe or what you think. It's human nature. And they, the system that we live in plays on it. Hmm. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Good. Are you going to live? Oh, that must have been some good shit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So... They've got, see, they've got this game rigged, and it's so well done that most of the people that play in it against their will think they've chosen it. You know, because, uh. oh, well, I picked my career. Well, there you go. I picked my brand of slavery. whoop dee And I have the certificate from the Education Society to prove it. And to me, I go, wow, 
whoop de fucking do. We got poison water, we got GMO and food, we got shitty electricity, we got shitty this, shitty that. Wow, you guys are really doing great. Where does the fucking support for it come from? I don't get it. I don't either. I mean, even the three people on RLM that openly support it, I mean, they're a minority. And the, the ones that go back and forth, well, that's just, you know, talk. You Sometimes you're with shit, sometimes you're not. It depends. But there's three main people on RLM that are definitely, mm, you know, and the rest of the people kind of, I don't know. Or I can't of, really eh. say. Well, yeah, well, it's all a matter of how I, you know, how I interpret it will be different than you. But I see the sameness in the lack of uh, compliance to it. Mm, yeah, that, well, everybody you know, has a tendency to, yeah. Okay, let me use Moose as an example, because I, man, I identify with her a hundred per fucking cent every damn time. And she's just a wild, you know, um, talking off the cuff and just whatever hits her at the moment. Yeah. And she's very adamant about her opinion, and I, I appreciate that about her. And But that knowing that you're you're being held hostage against your will, it's a given. It's just admitting it is the problem. you know. Or finding a prison like me. I found a prison that's comfortable to be in. It's not like I would suggest other people go out and do this, but I would say that's where me and uh, Moose misunderstood each other in the beginning. She, I never really understood what I was saying. How I was trying to say it didn't come out right. It was what I just said. I found a prison that suits me where I'm comfortable being in it. And there you go. There's life. Yep. Because yeah. true freedom to me would not be having anything. I'd just be bouncing around, going where I wanted to go, doing what I wanted to do. Three in the morning, I'm hungry. Go eat. You know, Four o'clock in the afternoon, I'm tired. I'm sleeping. Not uh, regulations and guidelines. And, you know, I got a wife to think about. So it kind of curbs my behavior. Hey, Moose. Well, yeah, you know, but well, like yourself, I've, I've made my concessions to survive in society, so to speak, you know, because you can't be a, a raven idiot and expect the world to kiss your fucking feet. Well, only, you can expect it all you want. That doesn't mean you're going to get it. Uh, only presidents and basketball players get that shit. And I don't even get what the big kick is about them idiots. They don't seem like shit special to me. But I got to look around and I see people that in society, I would say, are peers. And they're watching the freaking Trump election on their Danish TV set. Very disappointing. Maybe it's one of those things of, you know, get to know your enemy. No. No. Nah, the Danes. Nah, the Danes here. They're so non-aggressive. It's not believable. Nah. Yeah, but if you if you really want to know what you're up against, you got to kind of pay attention to what you're up against. But we're not up against anything here. That's what I'm no, trying to tell you. No, not yet. Not here. yet, dear. You are not. But you know it's out there, and there's nothing wrong with having that mm -hmm. information to know. Okay, oh. that is out there, and it's a possibility. I just what want to kind it? of see, you know, and maybe devote Identify. a half an hour. Oh, what is it? I mean, what? The whatever someone, whatever someone pays attention to, you know, why, why be disappointed changed, that other? Right. Okay, nothing changed for you, but they are curious. They want to keep, mm. if nothing else, it's for entertainment mm. purposes that they go, oh, good Lord, did you see what that United States president did this time? Oh, Lord. Wow. Okay, you know, and if that's, so, and if, if, if in fact that is the conclusion, that's the problem, Mary. I didn't come from laughing at the people in power. Laughing at them doesn't stop them. No, it laughing doesn't. At him, it doesn't do anything except make the person laughing at him look like a dummy for putting up with it. No, no. That, that, to me, well, I'm that's from that's your perspective. You but to yeah. me, I laugh at all of yeah. them because I think y'all are just silly. You're just silly. 
you know, and until I have to address them face to face, I'm going to continue to think they're all just a bunch of silly asses that are very, very self-important. And you know what? No matter Mm. what you do, no matter how many strings you pull or buttons you push, you know what happens? Your meat suit expires. Happens to us all. Yeah, so that's not okay, but that's not an issue in the equation. I, I'm not talking about the long game. I'm talking about the right now game. And and still, my right now game is y'all may think you're very self important. Y'all may think you're you're you know you're controlling the world or you're doing this mm-hmm. or you're doing that. I don't see you following me around in my house and telling me I can only use four <laughs> squares of toilet paper or telling me that's entirely too much coffee that you put in there when you're making your pot of coffee. You do not fucking control the world. You do not control my world. You may right. feel as though you do, and yeah. I'm happy yeah. for you if it comforts you to think that way. Go right ahead and think that way. But until it directly affects me i'm gonna look at you and go excuse me i just used five sheets of toilet paper kiss my ass you know that kind of mentality as as long as we pay our extortion bills we will all be treated properly when you choose not to then things will shift yeah there you go yeah i was thinking about that the earlier today is this whole ownership crap that we're all s- consumed by and stuck in. And, and I was walking up to the house and I'm, I was laughing because I'm thinking, there, you know, this is my house. You know what? <laughs> Isn't it <that laughs> funny? You go. No, because I don't, I just can't really take it seriously still. And, you know, and so you sit there and you laugh at him. You when things when things fail, I fix. When you know, when the need comes to to do certain maintenance, I do I do that. But it's still, it, I'll never in my mind go my 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 selfish selfish greedy greedy greedy. I'll always open the door to her family and go. Oh, she says, oh, the family's coming tomorrow. You know, like I'm gonna. Uh, she's given me the opportunity to tell her, no, I don't want your family to come over. I want to. But I never do that to her. <laughs> well, it's quite the opposite of how I feel. People would expect me to behave. The real me, and then there's the the words me, you know. And my my uh, what did Tal called it? My uh, I have a fear of compliance. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> remember yeah. that? I yeah. To this, me and Cirque still laugh about. It. I have a fear of compliance. What if, and it was an accusation like it was something bad. I know. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with that? <laughs> and it was because, remember, I wouldn't take the picture. I wouldn't take a picture of playing the Pastafarian thing and it oh, already yeah. done it. Yeah. Well, little, little things like that, they, they stick. The little gnats, you know, that they get a, like a coating on them and then... I polish them once in a while so I can look back and see it sparkle. <laughs> and that's what that's one of those moments. A dork uh, moment from hell. Yeah, sure. And you know what to was be, funny yeah. about that was, you know, it was just one of those stupid ass things where I think I posted a Yeah, cuz I posted a pic and I was in my my pink fuzzy house coat and had a cigarette dangling and and had the glasses on and the the yeah, the, the, shit the strainer on my head it was yeah. a whole maxine pastafarian kind of thing and yeah. it was just freaking funny and and i mean it was just to just for shits and giggles was basically well, and then someone took it to a very serious you must do this and it's like no 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 okay, I, I acted yeah, like okay. a dumbass and now you're telling everybody else that they have to act like a dumbass excuse me well you're the one that got me into that because Cirque made me do it she forced me at at circle point yeah but your picture was really pretty funny yeah well she well she's actually a a pretty good photographer too and had a specific shot she wanted it took her like five minutes to get me sitting there with this stupid flashlight (laughs) it was cool though <laughs> well, yeah, and, but, but to be ragged on after I did it by somebody that didn't know the picture was taken was kind of stupid. You know, uh, well, like, you know, wow. that's that's just, that whole it, thing of 
I am, I am, I am against the man. I am this. I am that. You have a fear of compliance. <laughs> that to me yeah. was the thing that really got me. Was yeah. so against the man and against authority. But by God, mm. you anti-compliant person, you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm against authority enough to live where the people that I live amongst have that same mentality. Hey, you know what, Mr. Yeah. Anti-Compliant Guy? We are almost out of time. yippity doo da. We just jibber-jabbered all the way. Thanks, everybody, for listening to The Dork Table. Be sure to stick around because Rob Works and Quasimodo will be up next Rob with works. Smoke and Mirrors. Directly Smoke following them will be Kira with The Bridge. Tomorrow Kira. evening is Bo Diddy with some bodacious tunage. Or this evening, not tomorrow evening. Day. Tomorrow, tomorrow at noon is Grimner with the blues, where he's going to lead you into Hal Anthony, who's going to open up a can of whoop ass on your ass behind the woodshed. Um, also, let's see, tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock Eastern Time is The Road Less Traveled with Gary L. and Gigi's Boo. So, on behalf of myself, Grammy Dork, thank you all for listening in and playing along. We truly do appreciate you guys. It's just so fun to have all you dorkular people hanging out with us. I got a dork announcement before I go. Okay. If you guys open up any of the uh, RLM radio programs, if you do it from uh, YouTube, I don't know if, uh, if those clicks do anything for us or not, but I want to find out. So I'm trying to do it and. Let's support this shit. If you don't treat it like marketing at some point, it's going to fade away. So you got to kind of tell people, do shit, make actions to make this work. Ah, thank, thank you. you. That was a dork announcement. That was a public service announcement from Flash Dork. Now back but, uh, to your regularly scheduled dorkiness. And are you going to do your, your little close-up thingy? or? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Yes, I will. Yes, ma'am.